Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Last week, you came along with us on our day trip to Puglia and we were able to find Ima's place to buy some clay pots we needed. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it at the end of this video. We will continue this day trip today and visit a town called Manfredonia, still in Puglia, as recommended by Ima. We will check out Manfredonia and its beaches, still trying to have a relaxing day and without having high expectations. I hope you stick around until the end. We are in Manfredonia, Manfredonia, as recommended by the lady that sold us the pots. She lives in Manfredonia. <laughs> huh? Who lives in Manfredonia? Who lives in Manfredonia outside? <laughs> huh. Maybe that's not the kind of advice you should take. No. Ah, you should come here. It's beautiful. Where do you live? I live here. <laughs> we'll show you around. Like people live, people live in these towns. So as a as a tourist, when you come, it's like you are lucky because it's no, it's not fake. Yeah. Everything has been running and going on while you're not there, and that's what you want. You don't want all these influx well, of. That's what we like. Well, well yeah, but that's what we like. people that love. I love touristy places, but I can't stand <gasps> Sandals! Too. Sandals! Wait! They're nice. They're white ones. Oh. Patty B ones. They're cute. Oh, they're cute. See the ones that go like that? Yeah, yeah. Very cute. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Fiorella. I lived half of my life in Colombia where I was born and the other half in Australia. For over a year now, I have been living in a small town in Italy with my husband, our big marima dog and our rag doll cat. On this channel, I'll be sharing with you my daily life and the questions I ask myself as a girl in her late 30s, okay, okay, early 40s, and about how to approach this new stage in my life. I hope you stay around. There is the beach and resting and, and probably having lunch because, ay, this is nice, look at those trees. Huh. That building is not bad. It's lunch time. When you're in Italy, remember that most places call on, close on Sundays. Um, they close for lunch time as well. So between 12:30 or so, one until four or five, depending on the town and the time of the year. So, if you get up late... So you got to do things in the morning? Yeah, or, or yeah, wait. Or late afternoon. And don't get frustrated like I used to. Because it doesn't help anyone. Look at the church. Ooh. The sea is that way. We're going to go there hopefully a bit later, but we're gonna try to get to the center of the historical center, the, his the center of the town. It's so green around here. Pizzeria, aperto, o chiuso. What's this guy doing? Okay. Hmm. 
buon odore <laughs> that's how you hang your clothes most people here don't have a dryer so um the um, I think we need to start walking the in there. I think the what do you call it? The our our conditioning of, of what is public and what is private. Um, the social clues of what's private or public for what we clues, used to is cues. Did I say clues? No, you we need another coffee. Colomba, not Colombia. Good try. <laughs> The social cues of what is public and private in Italy is very different to what we're used to. Oh, look at that building! Wait, look at that. Look at those flowers there. Oh, they have some terrace up there. Lucky them. Buongiorno. Look at that up there, honey. And look at the Bogan, Bogan Villa. Bogan Villa. I call them bogans, don't I? I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> that. The, the one thing I think of is bogans. I mean, I love them. No, not bogans, the flower. <laughs> the flower I love. They're poor, didn't they? No, poor. You think poor. you live here and you're poor? poor. Huh, you're rich. Poor. Oh, wow. Also, they. The construct of what it means to be rich or poor, those lines are very much blurred in many places like Italy. Some people have very little, at the same time they have everything and they have so much. Oh, look down there! Don't we love the balconies with flowers? Cute blue. Do you like? I have a terrace on top as well. Ooh, potential, I see. Did you see that? Look at that door. Wow, look at that handle. And look at the stairs. Look at that, look at that um, ironwork. Yeah, a lot of sanding. And I did most of the sanding in our place, so.
zona traffico limitato. You want to stay away from that. I don't know if my finger is in the right place, but that. Don't enter when you see that sign. You get fined. And it's um, typical in the historical centers. But sometimes they're hard to see because you're worried about driving, about going the wrong way. You'll probably have kids in the car or, you know, so much going on. Yet you, you, you could miss it like we did a few, I don't know, last year in um, Puglia. And then we got a fine. Seven thousand people live here in Manfredonia. <gasps> Handbags. Do you want gelato? Vediamo. Limone, mandorlato. Fragola. Where is pistachio? Ah, there are more here. Chocolate. Okay, I need to pause this because I have to think um, seriously about what I'm gonna get. Stacchio e mandorla Can you hold this? I'll go pay. You can need from both. That was the one I was gonna get. Choose the one you want. Okay, we gotta pay. Due gelati piccoli, 4 euro. Grazie. Yeah, I have, the, have it, and I have this strawberry one. No. You cannot try this one. This strawberry is delicious. I saw this strawberry one, it looks good. Ooh! Ooh! Yum, what an explosion of flavor. Sì, la dolce vita. Look, 
they have a juice thing. Cola, menta, fragola, limone. Ooh, that would be nice. Ooh, how beautiful. Ooh, wow. Space, space, space model. Push. I think I love it. <laughs> it's um really lively and it's just gorgeous. The town, the old town is beautiful. The beach is well I can't even see the beach but it's got white sand and the water's gorgeous. But there's a ton of people here. <laughs> well the population is very much almost double the the that oh, one of Thermoli. So Super lively. Even though there are many shops that are closed um, because it's Sunday, you still whew, you still feel how vibrant it is. Ah, we're going past the stadium, and the promenade is so beautiful with these uh, details on the ground. Very very nice. Parking was one euro for the first hour, and then we put us another euro that will take us to like maybe five more hours. Yeah. yeah. So for two euros we parked, 
six hours six hours it's the free whoosh my god not a lot of free beach right here but i'm sure there are others somewhere So we were just saying that the beach here is more accessible than the one in Termoli because the city is right there. So there is only maybe one street or two streets between the beach and, and you and the city. And there is parking very close from the beach. So you don't have, I mean, there's areas in Termoli where you don't have to walk that far if you go a little bit farther out from the city. Um, the beach here seems to be more narrow as well than the one in Termoli. So I guess that allows less people to be in the one area, especially for the free beach. Che è sapore? Margherita. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Sì, I want this. One that one. Sì, e due di queste per favore. Due pezzi. This is the first time we come to this one beach. It feels way, way less touristy. It feels like people just live here, like a little suburb, a little small town. And there was a beach access. And this is it. Ta -da! Oh, wow. Umbrella, umbrellone, pura, for swimmers. Our burquetas for lunch, we already ate. Ah, this is what I needed today. Yeah. Yeah. So 
that's part of Thermoli. That over there is the port and the beach where we usually go to. That's the historical center. The beach that we usually go to is on the other side of that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.